I just wanted to tell you today uh, four things. Yang the historical way back, being the hatred or never seen in my country, the group of my man, we have sinned. We don't have to be like them. You don't have to hate. You don't have to lie. You don't have to be shrill, and you don't have to be hysterical and spread hatred. All that we need to do is stand by our truth and stand by our idea that living together in peace and harmony there could be misunderstanding that can be resolved. We must realize that and alert to that one. People are angry, but some people take advantage of this anger to do things which will bring bad names to our people and the state. Be aware of that as well. So the first thing that I want to tell you is this. You must thank our cookie brothers for awakening us to realize that our romance of a united Manipur, in the name of that, we have lost track of what is happening behind us. We must thank our cookie brothers and sisters for that. What is valley and what is hill? Is Manipur a hill state or not? Torbong is a valley or is a hill? Is Churang Champur a hill or a valley? Geography the Yengera. Google give me the Yengara, I could have a sukun kalam Now that we have realized, so I'm saying it again, you should thank all these people who have allowed us to be awakened and understand what we are and where we have made mistakes. Second part that I want to share with you is this. Through propaganda machines, and decades of lies and misinformation, we have naturalized so much of misunderstanding about our land, our history, and our people. Hill Valley Divide, I know I So as I said, do you know that, for example, places like Nomai Jing Jing, then Langgo Jing, the breeze near the Thobal College, near Kaching Kunau, Kuga, all of these were classified in the Darbar Resolution in 1933 and the British Forest Officers Report of 1932 that these are called forests overlooking the valley which is used by the Maitais to build their houses and boats and firewoods. Simply because some people are called tribal. And by that definition, they think that are the forest dwellers. And simply because we are not classified by the constitution as scheduled tribe, we were dealing from the forest where we have intimate connection. British keep watching the yin bi over go. I call it chick the yin, but the umang mayam, u mayam the yom chal yom chal laga lai banana. You ask your elders, some of your youngsters, you may not know. Talk to your fathers and your grandfathers, grandmothers, ask them. Maitre is the only one today in Manipur who worship Umang Lai, the forest deity. 
And how do you say that we are not related to forests? We do not adopt other religions to forget our cultures or our religious practices. Even the Manipuri Brahmins worship Salamahi in their houses. Our house are the place of worship because we have Laimaril Siddhapi and Sanamahi in our houses. When you burn the Manipuri house, you also burn a place of worship. Do not forget this. And we have not spoken like this before. When we say that let's live together with peace and harmony, it is not our weakness. It is not timidity to call for peace. When we say stop this violence and we want peace. And some people think this is a sign of timidity. This is a sign of defeatist attitude. It is not because we understand at the end of the day, you have to live. You can't have wars and war and war and war all the time. We know that future. We are not consumed by the presence. Now this is another thing that we also know as a second part of what I want to communicate. Do not blame the cookies as a community. It is the politics and the players, the elites, who have put the lives of the innocent citizens of the cookies as well as the Maita is at stake. And do not Therefore, blame the cookie as a community. Blame the elites, the politics of hatred, which they have unrest in a peaceful state like Manipur. Please do not forget this. The other aspect, you must also critically ask this question. Why is that the Indian state, with some of the largest security forces in the world, one of the largest democracies, and a powerful state is not able to control this violence. Why? When you ask this question, you will see that it is not the cookies alone that you are grappling with. You understand that? When our Mayra Pipes, disturbed as they are, try to march to a place, you will have barbed wires. You will fire tear gases. And I was told, and possibly some of the gases which normally people don't use, I don't know whether it is a fact, but I have heard and seen this information, that people started vomiting much more than a normal gas. I don't know it is true or false. It needs to be asked. I understand that you need to avoid clashes. That's why you stop our Myra Pipes. I understand that. But please explain. When the other side comes and use machines to flatten the same ground, what is the Indian security forces doing then? And you said it is the state complicity and the Maitais have been using these paramilitary forces. This is what is told in Karan Thapa's interview that Maitais in cohorts with the security forces of the Indian state, including the paramilitary forces, are attacking Kuki. Just take the interview. All along, Maitais have been complaining that it is the security forces which comes and then burn our houses. This mistrust, instead of addressing this mistrust of their own civilian populations, you are threatening our Mayra babies by saying that it is not our weakness, it's humanity and so on. As the Indian Army officers, as a responsible institution, must address the trust deficit that they face rather than threatening and throwing or cast as persons on our people and our imams. This should be very clear in our mind. So what I'm saying is do not blame the cookie as a whole, as a community. Blame those elites and those people who are playing this dirty politics to break up Manipur by putting the lives of the civilian at stake, both the Maitais and the non maitais Please keep in mind, second point, please remember that this inaction of the Indian state itself is an action that is involved in this violence that we face today. This is something that I want you to know. But last, nonetheless, ask your politicians. 
when you have a rally in Imphal, I want to see this politician locking hands with the civilians and civil society forces and walk with the people. Not stay behind their security forces guarded houses. Come out. You have responsibility to explain the misinformation campaign. Do not leave the civilians to defend themselves and fight the what this dirty propaganda against our people. You as a responsible members and elected members must be with the people on the street. On the street. Face the media, explain the things, the lies have been told about the forest. For instance, they said to declare a forest as a protected forest, you need to survey. But the Indian Forest Act clearly says you can even declare the forest as a protected before doing the survey. You can do it later. Like this, there have been a lot of lies about forests, about population has been done. Why is that you and I have been left alone to defend this propaganda? Why is not that our MLAs, our officers come up on the front and counter this propaganda? You are leaving the populations to arm and defend themselves. You must come out, please. Isam chan na hai rabada neko. Mama alay baak se makrang se gaayar ga mafi sing toa bao buda. Thola pangam da ba manipur masada ni. Maitai ya seng gula 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 this politics is not only about the civilian population in that state, whichever community they are. And I told you again here, you should be different from the others. If they lie, you don't lie. If they distribute fake pictures, do not produce fact pictures as a counterpart. Do not do that. Stick with your truth, stick with your goodwill and fight it back. That is the third message. In English, they say you have to be assertive, but not aggressive. What is assertiveness? Standing up for oneself. If somebody tell lies about me, then I have to stand up myself and call a spade a spade. That is called being assertive. What is aggressive? Doing harm to the others. Spreading lies about them. About trying to hurt them. That's called being aggressive. You need to be assertive and we have nothing to lose but our self-respect that has been destroyed by propaganda the Manipur that you and I love is sought to be broken up this is not the first time Ngayon Vigil Nupak the Leiba Kaa Kaa Ga Yon Ba Ya Ba Nga Go Manipur Taura Iba Saya Chahi Kutra Ni Fu Sura Vani Ay Koi Ye Leader Singh Na Hai Bida Ba Ki Wani it has been there for a long, long time. The government of India has never closed this chapter. During the negotiation with the Mizo Accord, it was kept open. Later we will discuss. I am talking about 40 years old. sort of so therefore, please, as I said, assertive oi view, aduga aggressive oi viganu. Madugi atopa side of the coin, anger se yam live in it. Anger can consume you. You might lose. I'll tell you a lesson which is told to me by my coach when I was playing Taekwondo. He says, you know, when your opponent is trying to provoke you and make you angry, the moment you fall into trap, is worse than an upcha kick on your face. That's what he told me. I na saw ba hola kanda ay mai the tharak ba kick to. Ado ihe na sati ba man ngon de yai ba ho grab ni. The moment you get very angry with the provocation, so use your anger creatively, assertively, not aggressively. I koi ki tana tana raga chingchal raga. I koi da ta hola ka lana na ba tana ba shin ba malay. Masi hai hai the na. I have a distinction to my maintain of you. When you have been, I mean, when push comes to shop, high English stuff, my dear, on that roughly, and the other day, 
chumna ilam ba gagi namzal la adi. You need to do what is required to do. I am not saying I am not Gandhi. When the push comes to shop, ilam ba gagi namzal la puti matang yaw ra adi. Nang na tawham toku to dum tawra kani madu ay na timuhu ya bazanate. But as a community, as an our orientation, don't lie like them. Do not preach hatred like them. Do not be aggressive like them. We have to be what we are. Aroi bida masih ada pugi mara mamalai. When we fight a war, it's a war against our existence. It's a war against our self-respect, our dignity. You know what has been going on for the last three months. But the truth will come up. It's already started. Newspaper started reporting one by one for up to three months. You can get to hear two sides of the stories. It will be. So stick to your truth. Ipa ipusina, ibiramba larip lai suleramba adugum na bafurup ne koy. We have so much treatise, written texts on a range of issues from cosmology to medicines to marriages and rituals to politics. That we call it Puya and Chronicles and so on. Remember, please, that we are that inheritor of that Ipaipu. We are the children of those forefathers. One of the texts they left behind for us now, which has been translated into English, is called China Roll How to Fight War on an Ethical Principle. No community can claim that kind of a heritage. Even when we fought wars with the Britishers, with the Burmese, with the Khasis, all of them, we call it the Chinese and all of them, we have a rule. Much before this international covenants and Geneva conventions and all of them came on the surface of the art, we have a text called China Roll. How to fight back in an ethical manner. Please do not deny your forefathers by doing which is unacceptable. To me, sexual violence is one of the unacceptable things which is not part of the China role. It's not prescribed by that. It is not prescribed by international covenant. And it is a hit against all the womankind. We must not condone those things. They will be using this as a tool to call you a rapist. We don't call the entire Indian as rapists who have blown up the vagina of Monoroma. Did we claim that all Indians did that? Did we do that? No, we have never done. We have never called all the Indian armies as rapists. We only called some people and demanded that there should be justice for that person. Please book those people whether they are security personnel or not. Now how dare they say the entire Maitais are rapists? What is this logic? Who are these so-called progressive forces in this country who are supporting and demonizing Maitais? Please stand up for yourself. You have nothing to lose. This insult and this attempt to disintegrate us. We will fight with the ethical parameters, the standards kept up by our forefathers. And I said again, please do not hate the entire cookie. Pick up fight your war on an ethical ground call out these lies and half truths that they are preaching and then we will defend is it wrong to say that let's live in peace and harmony you have two voices the one who's saying that let's talk about it let's resolve this problem Let's peace and harmony be there. One is saying, no, we have nothing to do with these are rapists, these are these, these are that. These are the two voices. The voices, the one who want to defend a united Manipur with all its diverse cultures and communities in peace and harmony, that is a voice and we are the flake bearer of that voice. That's a historical responsibility that we have and we should not forget it. And I can tell you, in the war in 480, there's a famous war in Western history that is called the Battle of Thermopylae, where 300 Spartan resisted thousands and thousands of Persian soldiers under the leadership of King Leonidas. And when they fight, they knew that they are going to die. 
but they fought it not for their only today but for their tomorrow so the war that we face today is not for today alone but for tomorrow for our generations to come not only of the Maitais but all those Gokhne people who love and cherish Manipur is their motherland we are taking the lead in that fight for a unit united Manipur with peace and harmony we made mistakes we will correct but we will not accept anybody who paint us as demons by lies and half-truths we will not stand anybody who's tried to break up the peaceful Manipur we will stand and fight till the last man and woman keep that thing in your mind never ever surrender you remember that Pona Brzebasi said in Chaitarul Kumbhava that's the spirit that's for numbers of us for you when you go to Kongjom and take selfies and snap bear that line which is written on the plaque in your heart and mind that inscription will last long far more than your selfies remember this then we will fight not with hatred but with a purpose to defend the united Manipur and for peace. Long live! Manipur! Imale Pagna! Thank you all.